The Houston Film Commission uses money from the city's hotel tax to lure movie and TV productions to Houston. The commission is a division of Houston First, a government agency created by the city of Houston. Channel 2 Investigates showed you how the commission is paying one of its employees nearly $175,000 a year to live and work in Los Angeles. She's racking up thousands on cross-country travel and meals at fancy restaurants. We also discovered that the commission is paying her housing costs as well. Tonight, investigators Mario Diaz reveals more about her LA lifestyle and what Houston is getting for the money. An office near production lots like Warner Brothers and Paramount or a high rise in downtown LA. This is where you might expect to find the office of a Hollywood deal maker. But in the case of the publicly funded Houston Film Commission, their Los Angeles office is inside this residential building near Beverly Hills. Why can't she operate like this out of Houston? Why does she have to be in Los Angeles? City Council member Michael Kubosh was stunned to learn this is the office for Sharon Adams, the Film Commission's L.A. representative. After watching our report detailing Adams' credit card statements, Kubosh had this to say. This is actually egregious to see this type of behavior. Adams Houston First Amex bills reveal expensive meals at fancy restaurants and high-priced cross-country travel. Adams earns nearly $175,000 annually for her work. And according to this email, Houston First also is paying for her housing, all with public funds. Good morning, Sharon. I just wanted to inform you that I have submitted the invoice for your housing to accounting. Wow. Kubosh is not the only council member surprised by the unusual arrangement. Council member Jack Christie has questions too. I would question anybody that gets housing. I don't think even the mayor gets housing. So, but according to this, Sharon Adams does. Well, we'll have to question that, won't we? Two council members sit on the board of Houston First, Dave Martin and David Robinson. Martin already weighed in on our findings. Well, there's no doubt that we need to do a much better job with our film commission. Robinson has not. After multiple requests to speak with him, we caught up with Councilmember Robinson at City Hall. As you can see, Robinson was in a hurry as he could not stop to talk to us. Councilmember, you asked me to provide just some evidence. We aired it all week. We have it right here about some spending with the Houston Film Commission, sir. Council approves the budget for Houston First and the more than $1 million the Film Commission receives. But Kubosh says Council did not get the full picture before voting. This scenario of having someone uh, representing the city of Houston in L.A., th that, that's never been presented to Council. Kubosh is skeptical about Adam's L.A. arrangement, considering she has brought no big budget movies or TV projects to Houston since opening the L.A. office in 2015. It's a lot of taxpayers' public fund money being spent, uh, and what benefit does the city of Houston receive from it? Now, late this afternoon, Houston First, which runs the Houston Film Commission, answered our questions about Adams Housing. Houston First says it covers $4,400 a month for housing office and vehicle expenses, with the full amount currently going to rent. Now, we told you last night about costly flights Adams booked, including one for $2,600. Houston First says Adams did book a first class ticket, but it was an error. And weeks later, she reimbursed the extra cost. Bill and Dominique? Well, you got to punch a lot of buttons to make that kind of error. It was a first class mistake. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So then last night, you also talked about her paying for seat upgrades, mm -hmm. and I believe it was a lounge pass that Correct. she bought. Did Houston first? They did. That? They said those were uh, business development expenses that were uh, they, that they were incurred during the Super Bowl. Um, however, uh, that was all that they stated about those expenses. We're going to obviously sit down with Brenda Bazan, the mm. CEO of Houston First, next week. We're hoping to get a bit more answers on everything. Okay. We hope you do, Mario. Thank all right, you. Thank you. Mario.